Well, hello friends, it's Amy Ferlici with the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. And today I have this super duper cute birthday card for you. For me right now, it's all about birthday cards. I need birthday cards this year. So I kind of set out to make that my mission is to get a bunch of birthday cards designed. So I'm sharing one of my birthday cards right here and right now with you guys. The sentiment says, life's too short to say no to cake, which I feel like I live by that maybe a little more than I should these days. So that's one of those you know resolutions for 2019, right? is to maybe not eat quite so much cake, but at least you can put it on a card, right? So I wanna show you guys, this is the really, oh, I love, this is the Amazing Life stamp set. It's a photopolymer stamp set from our Occasions catalog. So here's the sentiment that we used, that life's too short to say no to cake. And then we also used the happy birthday, but then look at all of the other the little cake and the scroll work. Um, love this one, so happy to have you in my life good luck i believe in you and yay so it's not just a birthday set it's you know an amazing life set but it does have a couple of great um, sentiments and images that you can for, use for birthday cards as well as lots of other occasions as well the other thing i have to show you guys is i am in total love with this is and what is the name of it it is called the how sweet it is designer series paper so really kind of fun bright um, kind of cupcake and um, yeah there's a little bit of like candy little candies and cupcakes and things on this designer series paper so just a little peek at a couple of the pieces and I'm going to show you guys the rest of the designer series paper in this pack actually I have to go this way don't I so you can see that right so more of the little cupcakes and candy and lollipops and even some little gummy bears I have to turn this sideways now though so I can open up my package so I can show you actually here let's just pull it all Oops, I keep thinking I have it all. There we go, now I've got it all. So here is one side of the paper and then I already showed you the little polka dots too we use. This is Coastal Cabana little polka dots on that sheet. The gummy bears on that one and then the reverse side. Ooh, I love those stripes, right? Even better maybe going vertically, okay? And then here's the other little polka dot piece that we used and then the back side has some kind of diagonal stripes with Coastal Cabana, maybe light and dark shades. And then how about that one? That's pretty like eye-catching, right? Fun, bright, bold colors on that one. And then, oop, I guess I kind of did that upside down. So let's turn it this way, right? So more fun, um, like candy jars and cupcakes on that designer series paper as well in kind of a melon mambo color. And then gumball machines, how cute are those, right? with more polka dots on those. And what's on the back side? Ooh, uh, Melon Mambo, kind of a diagonal stripe there as well. So we've got some more kind of generic and then some really specific candy jar imagery on this designer series paper, the how sweet it is. And then some more fun candy on there too. So um, if it's not making you hungry yet, it will be soon. Just checking out all that designer series paper, right? So let's go ahead and get started making our card. I actually kind of cheated because I knew you guys were not going to want to sit and watch me color everything in. So, oh, actually, no, let me back up. Before we talk about that, let's talk about sizes of our cardstock and so on. So let's see. We have, we start with a Coastal Cabana card base that, well, card stock that measures the eight and a half by 11. We cut it in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half, right? And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it in half at four and a quarter inches to make our nice crisp fold on our card. Then we have a layer of Whisper White card stock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then our designer series paper, just a couple of little strips this polka dot piece measures one and a half by four inches and then the little coastal cabana polka dot piece measures one inch by four inches okay um so yeah i think that's all you need for measurement so back to what i was saying i didn't i knew you guys didn't want to watch me color the whole thing in but i wanted to make sure you knew what i did so with my black memento ink i stamped my life's too short to say no to cake right so just always that tap 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 press straight down and straight up right then i use this is my highland heather this is the dark highland heather marker and i used kind of the skinnier tip i've got to grab my glasses just for this last little bit here and so with the little skinny tip i just colored in the word cake so we're gonna finish this guy off 
but you can see how easy that is. So I colored that whole thing in, right? And then that's it. It just kind of adds a nice little burst of color on there for you. Now we are going to go ahead and die cut this piece with our stitched shape framelits. I'm going to scoot these guys up out of the way a little bit. Excuse me. I'm throwing things. Okay, so I've got my big shot with my magnetic platform and my two clear cutting pieces. I've got one underneath there. Sorry, did I just bump that? I'm a little bit fussy today, apparently. This is the largest stitched shape circle framelit in that pack. And put that down, put the other clear cutting pad on top, crank in our handle. And we'll get this piece cut. And then I'll tell you about a couple more things while we are putting this together. So as always, that just pops right out so nice and easy. Okay, we are done with our big shots. So we're gonna move this guy out of our way. And let's get our pieces back in here. Our card base, we don't really need that quite yet, do we? So let's start building things on our cart. So I'm gonna grab my adhesive. Just gonna flip this guy over. I'm gonna add some adhesive on this one and on the back of that one. Okay, so this piece I want kind of toward the top. So I put it maybe right about there looks good oops and then it got stuck on my ring isn't that funny okay and then this piece i layered right underneath the other piece of designer series paper so we're going to put that one right about there then my ribbon this is new this is a whisper white flax ribbon so it's um probably it looks a lot like our burlap ribbon it's the same kind of texture and as i was saying i'm, I'm thinking you can probably pull this apart if you cut along just that very first seam line, you can pull all of these part pieces apart and do some fun, you can get some fun kind of extra textured twine is what I would say if you pull those threads apart on that flax ribbon. We are not doing that today, but it, it just occurred to me as I was looking at that how much it looks like our burlap ribbon, which I love to pull those pieces apart and do that with, with our burlap. So I'm sure this would be the same idea with our flax ribbon as well. I'm going to put that right there and then I'm going to flip it over because I tend to get it not quite straight. So we're going to make sure it's straight and then tack it around the back there also. Then we also, I don't want that to stick to anything, we used um, just a half of one of our colored doilies. So these doilies come in uh, flirty flamingo, there's a melon, no no, Flirty Flamingo, um, Grapefruit Grove, I think, either that or Calypso Coral, Old Olive, and then we used, um, this is Coastal Cabana. I just cut it in half. Um, there's no sense in wasting a whole doily underneath there, right, because you just kind of see that part right there. And I just kind of added some adhesive right there. And the big thing was to try to make sure that it looked even. So if, even if I didn't cut it quite um, even, I want that to kind of be able to peek out, you know, evenly around there. So I think that looks good. So we're gonna tack that down. We are gonna use a couple of dimensionals on the back. Oh, look at that. I didn't like how I stamped it originally, apparently. But that's the cool part about our um, cardstock, right? Is that it's thick enough that if you stamp on the back side, you should not be able to see through it once you put it on your card. So we are going to put that guy maybe right about there right now we are going to add some more adhesive yeah it was sticking on me wasn't it okay oops have i run out oh my gosh i have run out so we're going to pretend that i put a little adhesive in that corner maybe you didn't even know that i didn't and we're going to add this whole layer to our card right then the last step we are going to use a couple of the gingham gala sequins i have my Take your pick tool with my little Barbie spatula on the end and oops I kind of flicked that but that's gonna work out just fine we're gonna move that maybe right about there I always have to futz around maybe right about there that's good so I'm making sure to kind of dig underneath there to get the glue dot that is underneath our little flower sequin this these are the daffodil delight um, gingham gala sequins I'll put that cap back on there and last step, which I should have done way earlier in case I don't stamp it well. This is completely um, not the way I would typically do this. So 
when you're watching this and you go to make this card, stamp this on here first before you put your designer series paper on here and adhere it to the card because if you don't like how that's stamped, you can flip that whisper white piece over and stamp it again. I was fortunate that that worked out okay and sometimes that's how that goes, right? But definitely I would stamp before you adhere anything is kind of a general rule for me. Just like this one where I stamped it and it didn't work out well, flipped it over and stamped it on the back. So that is it. Do you guys love, I love like kind of the bright, bold, fun, cheerful, colors of this birthday card and life's too short to say no to cake right i agree so thank you guys so much for watching today make sure i just want to kind of direct you over to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com i always have lots of ideas and tips and tricks and tutorials over there as well as we are now doing facebook live videos on our gathering inspiration stamp studio facebook group every Friday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. You can catch us live if that time doesn't work for you. Just hop on the Facebook group later and you can watch anytime. I also upload all of those videos to the YouTube channel right here. So make sure you hit that subscribe button at the bottom of the video here. And thank you so much. I hope you all were inspired today. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye everybody.